and welcome to this TGIF edition of Sunrise Serials. I'm your host, Richard Pochart, and today we continue our journey through post-revolution Mexico with the one and only Zorro. Zorro was the creation of writer Johnston McCulley and first appeared in a serialized novel called The Curse of Capistrano in 1919. It was meant to be a standalone story, and in fact, Zorro revealed his true identity to everyone at the end. A year later, the movie The Mark of Zorro was made, and suddenly people couldn't get enough of Macaulay's swashbuckling hero. In 1922, Macaulay released a serialized sequel novel called The Further Adventures of Zorro. Over the next 36 years, Macaulay would write two more novels and almost 60 short stories, the last of which, The Mask of Zorro, was published in 1959, a year after Macaulay's death. Okay, I've kept us waiting long enough. Let's find out what happens in Chapter 2 of Zorro's Fighting Legion, The Flaming Z. Throw me the whip! Throw me the idol! Slide in the gorge, but the gold train got through all right. Now you and the men follow them in case there's any more trouble. But keep well back and stay out of their sight. What are you going to do? I'm going on ahead to Mexico City and explain this to Juarez. Come with me, Juan. I cannot tell you how much this gold means to us. About fifteen dollars an ounce. The Republic of Mexico depends on the establishment of our foreign credit for the purchase of arms and supplies. We'll continue with the gold deliveries, Juarez, in spite of Don Deloro and his yankees. This Don Deloro, you've no idea who he is? No, apparently he's someone masquerading as a Yankee god. He has complete control of the Indians. I could send you more soldiers if necessary, but it might antagonize the Indians and start a general uprising. It won't be necessary. The Legion can handle this situation. But your Legion has no legal standing. You get into trouble with the San Mendelito authorities? There is nothing I can do to help you. I realize that. But I think we can take care of ourselves. When do you return? At once. The Council meets again tomorrow. You are sure the Council does not suspect you of being Zorro? How could they? Well done, Diego. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> the council meeting must take care of this situation once and for all. Be certain to give the proper answers to our questions. Don't worry. I will be letter perfect. 
We had the situation well in hand until Zorro attacked. Zorro? Zorro attacked the train? Certainly. My men and I were putting up a desperate defense against the Indians until Zorro and his legion attacked. Fortunately, our two enemies started fighting each other. I took advantage of the situation and got the gold safely away. Then you think this uh, Zorro and his men are bandits? Would honest men be riding armed and masked? The outlaws must be treated as such. I suggest a reward be offered for the capture of these bandits. I agree. You should offer a reward of 100 pesos for each one of his men and 500 for Zorro, dead or alive. Oh, but is that enough? If this Zorro is as terrible as you say he is, I should think his capture would be worth much more than that. Say, uh, a thousand pesos at least. <laughs> Talk about inflating yourself well, worth. Are we all agreed? Yes. Agreed. That's satisfactory. Good. It is so ordered. The meeting is adjourned. I'll have my men start a search at once. We'll run down these outlaws. something under that rock. Now he's a legionnaire. Did he say a diesel engineer? Some of the legion. Z. Must be Zorro's signal. The Legion. Let's follow them. The meeting place. We'll tell Don DeLauro. Legionnaires, one of our members has been captured by the military. He is to be executed tomorrow morning. We could attack in a body, but that would cause unnecessary bloodshed. So I've made other arrangements.
anything to say before your sentence is carried out? How about... Don't shoot! Ready? Be free to live on the lands of your fathers. Zorro and his legion will no longer interfere with you. I have made plans to destroy them tonight. <laughs> Go to the San Nicolas Mission and do what I told you. The things you need are all ready and... Are you crazy? Spread the rest of powder around the face of those kegs. Pray for that candle. I've cut it to burn two hours. That should be about right. Light it. Oh, he can't smoke a cigarette, but that guy can light a candle? Huh, talk about favoritism. That will make a warm welcome for Zorro and his legion. Go up on the hillside and light that Z as soon as it's dark. No matter what you say, I still don't believe Zorro is a bandit. Then why does he wear a mask? Perhaps because he's so ugly, he's afraid to show his face. <laughs> It's a little close in here. Should we take a short stroll? Yes, let's. Someone hidden in there. Go on to the mission. I'm going to look into this. No. I 
they all there now? Yes, and they'll stay there. The back door is barred, and the Yankees will see that no one gets out the front way. It'll only be a few minutes now before that powder goes off. There must be something wrong. Come on, we'll join Zorro. But aren't the horses in front? You know, where the shooters are? As of August 2021, The Curse of Capistrano, sometimes published under the title The Mark of Zorro, was ranked 36th in the list of all-time best-selling books, making it more popular than such classics as Peter Rabbit and To Kill a Mockingbird. Why is it published as The Mark of Zorro? Well, I'll talk about that tomorrow. Meanwhile, let me know how I'm doing in the comments, and as always, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Does the reward for Zorro include turning in pieces of him? Will Don Del Oro do anything besides sit around entertaining the Yaquis? Is Zorro blown away by the plans of the villains? Be here Monday morning for the next thrilling installment of Zorro's Fighting Legion, Chapter 3, Descending Doom. See you then. Hey everybody, it's Richard again, and if this is the first time you're viewing my series, you've already missed a lot, so why not subscribe? And that way, you'll never miss another exciting cliff-hanging moment. Subscribe today.